What's up, everybody? It's a zombie. We are testing out a new toy today. I am a little loud. There we go. Yeah, we are testing out the new uh, Elgato Steam Deck. So as you see me pushing little buttons, changing things, I'm actually going to push it real quick to test the mic. That look works. Okay, and I'm going to really quick pop bump this. Looks like everything's working. I'm not hearing any echo. If this works out, I won't have to pull up my OBS anymore. So we're going to go ahead and pop this up. I want to make sure that I hear the game sound. So I hope everyone had a great weekend. I uh, did a lot of housework around here, some yard work. Hung out with Stratman all weekend online. Pissed him off. <laughs> If you see Strat Man, you gotta make him tell you who wins. All right, pray. So, all right, we're waiting for this to load up. I gotta make sure that it'll pull the full screen. Waiting. Yep, it does. All right, now I'm just waiting to hear music. I do have some. Okay, cool. All right, I'm not hearing any echoes, so let me go ahead and I'll turn these headphones off and switch over to my Xbox headphones. Well, I say Xbox, but it's actually, they are Xbox. They are amazing. Uh, Steel Series, I believe. I don't see any emblems on I can never, although they're Razor, that's right. I have Razor. All right, so we're going to jump right in. Now, I know Stratman wants me to make my uh, cam bigger so he can see me in all my glory. He loves my beard. He thinks I'm a handsome man, and I love him for that. He's a good guy. I will have to figure out how to do shout outs through the uh, Steam Deck. Um, as promised, have not touched the stream only one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. Me and Shebe are really far now. Alright. Oh, yeah, we did like, it was day 49. And yeah, this base design I'm doing here, I made a, a mock one in me and Shebe's world, and uh, it worked pretty damn well. So we're going to kind of tweak it and do that today uh it's a short stream today because yeah it's already what 1 30. yeah it's 1 126 and we do have to go to the shops later uh we need the food of the kitties or else they're gonna like maul us and eat us you know how it goes but yeah yeah, other than that, yeah i had a really great find this weekend uh let's go ahead So this is uh, Walking Dead Season 2 Collector's Edition. It actually opens up to the Blu-ray inside of it. Uh, it is the Screwdriver Zombie, which is special to me because he was the first pop figure I ever got. Uh, my daughter and my son got it as a birthday present for me. Um, so I have it. It literally lives here. Uh, I still have it to this day in its box. The box is beat up, but I, I still have it. That was a present from them. But the RV Walker... I have his figure, I have that, and uh, I was really excited to find it. But on that day, we actually, we went to Habitat Restore, <coughs> and they had a bunch of separate heads, uh, mannequin heads, so I bought all those. 
Uh, they said they had had a bunch of body parts, which I was sad that they didn't have them anymore. But I would have bought those too. But yeah, so we got all these severed heads. We're going to be putting one in the studio at least. Uh, I'm thinking about mounting it somehow, like right here-ish. I haven't decided yet. Uh, well, let's see. Where were we in life? We're making concrete. So, now this week we will be working on, uh, we'll be doing Seven Days to Die, but we're also going to be working on, um, I really don't like not having my smelty box in here, but we should add some brass. So we got all this, we have all this cement. We need clay and we need. No, we need what is it that makes us? Just clay. Concrete mix. Sand and small stones. So we need a bunch of sand and a bunch of small stones. So that means we actually should go on a little quest. First, we're going to chop down our trees, as always. Do we have food on us? Yes. Do we have water on us? Yes. We did not put that brass in there, though. And we've got some uh, arrowheads on us that we don't need. Now eh, we can hold on to them for now, I guess. Brass goes... No, we better not, because... This is me. Whenever we go out, we end up fucking with a bunch of shit we don't need. We got a hundred paper. We got that. We got that. So we can make a shit ton of bullets. Uh, paper is actually becomes very important. So, all right. So as we're let's go on a quest here. We're gonna chop down trees, and I'll tell you uh, how things are going. Um, you know, I didn't really update my title from last time, but I don't care. It's seven days to die. We will, like I said. Uh, I got a system splitter coming. I've got my PlayStation figured out. So we are going to be uh, doing some Days Gone finally. Maybe some uh, Until Dawn. Um, we are also, I purchased uh, Phasmo. So we're going to be jumping into that on PC. We're going to be doing a bunch of various games, um, not just 7 Day. Though, and we will be getting back to games on the Xbox soon. Uh, like I said, I am more of an Xbox streamer than anything, but I do want to knock out some games on some other things. Um, so. Thinking... Anyone ever wants to be really generous, you know, you could get me a VR headset. I would love to do some VR games. My thing is, if people think that if I do VR, it's going to be silly or funny, no, I'm not, okay? And I'm not going to, like, be jump scared. I mean, I'm going to have, like, some fear, but I'm not going to be like, oh my god, it's going to get me. That's not who I am, okay? <clears throat> That's just how it is. Oh, yeah, so let's talk about new features. Okay, so again, I'm watching the Alpha 21 dev stream. They are quite long, okay? Uh, the one I just watched was two hours long. That's the first one. Uh, they have one that's all about all the new art stuff coming. Um, and then they had a small brief one that focuses on just the council stuff. I think it's just a rehash of what they said during the council, uh, which is pretty damn smooth. I can't believe we're finally going to get the council update. I mean, it's still a while off. I don't want to get too excited because they they clearly state that it'll be around Alpha 22, which we're still in Alpha 20, uh, waiting for Alpha 21. Uh, which I will say is going to kind of suck that all these bases will get stripped. Uh, we will do an update to Alpha 22, and none of these will work. But with Alpha 22, this is what I was going to say. 
All right, so they are... Lakes and streams are still there. You can now drink directly from them, okay? So what that means here... Uh, let me cut this tree down. We're going to move these pine cones. All right. I'll we'll cut this one down just because it's in my damn way. Okay, so. A new feature is going to be you can come down here to the water and drink it. Okay, see how I can't drink it? I just punch it. And that's because glass jars are no longer going to be a thing. Okay, they're going to be gone. So that we don't have where we have a million glass jars. Uh, you will be able to use the water filtration mods. Uh, you're going to use these things called rain collectors, which can give you up to three water a day. The only thing is, they require a high-end item that is only sold at the moment. And they said they may change this, uh, depending on how well this works out. Because the, the water thing's very... I want to put this out there. They clearly say that the water is very experimental. Hey, Panda, how are you? We'll be right there with a shout-out here in just a second. Uh, but yeah, they're saying that uh, the water's going to be very experimental. Hold on, we're going to... This is the only time I should have to switch off of the stream now, is to do shoutouts until I figure out how to do a shoutout on my... You're lurking. Alright, there we go. Let's see what Panda... She was playing Dead Island 2. Let's see what her clip is today. Where's her clip? Where's the Panda clip? Why am I not seeing a Panda clip? Hold on. There should have been a panda clip. I'm sad that there's no panda clip. You're more than welcome for the shout out, love. All right, so I was going to say, so with the water, there won't be jars anymore. And when you do find jars, you drink them, they disappear. You like, you just chuck the jar and break it, apparently. You get these rain collectors that are going to be high end, require at least one high-end item so that we're not making a million of them because you get about three waters a day out of them. They also have changed it to things like these bird's nests. And uh, let's see here if we can find one. I'm trying to find a certain thing here. Um, all right, these garbage bags, okay? If they're when you go to loot them, they're gonna break. They're gone from the world forever. I don't know if that means like they're gonna eventually spawn in, like how because you can turn off a uh, respawn on item, like you know my loot respawn. You can actually turn that off. I have it on just because I think it's beneficiary. But if you want to have a more survival world, you turn it off. Okay. Uh, speaking of loot, panda, uh, we'll play on the experimental world that I want to start out tomorrow we'll just if you still want to play um but me and Cheve have a crate for you and a crate for no one when you guys get in that has some high level weapons and a bunch of cool shit that we've picked up because yeah we're on love uh day 49 last night so we're on day 50 today but when you guys are ready to play and we if the new update hasn't come out We'll use that for all of us as our world, but like tomorrow for you to play, kind of get used to it. If you want to, we can jump into it. It's a brand new world, uh, and we'll just try it out there. So, but that, that, that'll be on you. And like I said, just let me know when you want to. Um, I'm free until noon. I really, sh I got some shit I should do in the morning, but I'm probably going to put it off. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I just don't feel like doing it. But yeah, so then uh, another update. So yeah, like, so water is now going to flow more freely. Like they did show in the dev updates, uh, you can dig trenches and the water will actually flow. Um, I don't know how far it'll flow. Like Minecraft, if it's like five blocks, I believe, from a source it flows. I know it's... And again, I don't know if you're going to be able to do the old infinite glitch. If you're able to do the old infinite glitch, that would be awesome. 
So for those who don't know what an infinite glitch is on the water, uh, Minecraft has it. And seven days on, I believe the council had it for a while. I don't know if it still does. But you build a three by one hole. Okay, this guy's, he needs to die. There we go. But yeah, you build a three by one hole and you put the water source, you take two water sources and you put one. Do I have some? Yeah. Okay, so on your three by one water source, you have one, two, three, open, like an open spot. Okay, so it's actually a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's a three by three square, but the, the middle's hollowed out. You know, here, hold on. Let me just show you guys. It's much easier. Okay. So, the infinite water glitch, in order to do it back in the day, one, two, three. So, it would have been four. Sorry. That's why I was starting to confuse myself. All right. So, you would build a thing like this, and you would take a bucket of water and put it on that block. So, it's down in there, not up here on the top. And then you put another one here. So it's two sources that continually are running at each other. And right here in the middle, it would be still water. So you would be able to pick up that water source, the middle one, with a bucket or some jars or the new way of just drinking it straight from. And the two continual sources will keep refilling that. So that's an infinite water glitch. Uh, in Minecraft, it's actually just a feature. But in Seven Days, it was not a feature, and that's why they removed it. But I think with the new way the water is flowing, they might be bringing it back. Uh, yeah, this, this new update is making the game very much more survival. Um, they're saying water... The lakes and streams are not going anywhere. In fact, they've even added some, like, broken water pipes you can drink from. But again, it's going to be murky water. Uh, so unless you have a filtration mask piece on your uh, helmet, you're going to you get a chance of dysentery. Um, so, yeah, it, it seemed really cool. And again, a lot of this info came from the dev stream. And even though the dev stream was two hours long, they just touched on enough of it that it you know it, they wet our whistle and again i've only watched one out of i believe it's four and i'm gonna probably be uh whenever they start doing their uh, dev streams on twitch again i might just start streaming them along with them uh doing like a react stream to it like i did with uh dying light and stuff just so we can continuously be in the loop Because while we're going to play other horror games still, I do want to really kind of focus on 7th Day. I think that this should be my game. It has everything I need in a game. It has surviving. It has crafting. It has sledgehammers that I can crush zombie dogs face in, which Stratman just loves. I mean, he can never get over it. Uh, that I'll just be talking casually. But I'm swinging a sledgehammer just crushing things' faces. He, he thinks it's amazing. Which, I love Stratman for that. Stratman is my best friend. He is. He doesn't know it, but he's my best friend. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to check something here. Make sure that we're still flowing right. Like I said, we are now using a Steam Deck. So. He's my best friend. He's my pal. He's my homeboy. He's my rotten soldier. He's my sweet tea. A good time boy. Yeah, that, that's strap man right there. No. Summed up in a nutshell. Now, if you're wondering why I wanted to break that like that, yeah, not only can I pick up a couple loose rocks, but instead of just getting all rock, I'm now getting some sand. And it looks like we might have got what was that? Destroyed stone. What? What is it used for? I 
just place it and re-break it. That's pretty fucking cool. Alright, so we got... We, we're working towards getting a shit ton of cement right now. And bird's nest and stuff like that. Which also, where did that drop go? Okay, the drop went that way, so we're going to work on that way. Um, but yeah, another thing they did show, uh, and now, me and Shebe only use the bicycles at the moment. We may be getting to the point where we start using a car. We didn't really like the motorcycles, but we might end up making one. We'll see. Uh, I hope that when Panda and Noan are with us, we make the cars and the bikes and all of that. You know, we, we, we go all out, okay? Uh, I'm hoping that's what we can do. Why do we got the dramatic wandering horde, which is another thing I'll talk about. But they did show, like, if you're driving the car now and you smash into a tree because you don't know how to drive, you're actually going to do some serious damage to the car. Which is actually kind of new because before, yeah, it didn't really do that. Uh, it took some damage occasionally, but not a lot. Like, I've ran mine into my bicycle into a tree a million times. I suck at riding the bicycle. Panda, when you and, and no one get in, we definitely need to do this building together. I can see if there's any hanging out out here. Just look like there is. Ooh, apparently I walked too close to it. But yeah, so with the new water thing, uh, I was thinking about this, okay? So, one of the best ways to get your stamina recharging, ooh, that could be a fun place to make a fucking... Uh, anyways, one of the ways to get your stamina to recharge really quickly is drink water. Example, alright, so I'm going to stand here. 66, 70, okay, so now I use this thing. See, it's charging pretty decent. But I'm using a pretty heavy tool, so it's wearing out my stamina. So, anyways, if I come here, water does a stam regen of 15%. So, as long as I drink water, I got an extra 15% for like 16, 17 seconds there. Which means my stamina is boosted. Which is great if you're like running. Like, if I wanted to run to this crate and run back, like emergency run, then it would keep my stamina pretty full. But with the new water thing, Alright, so yeah, like this backpack also, it would disappear when I do that. Um, there's a bird's nest. How many, how many, uh, in fact, let's go ahead and repair that now. But yeah, so without the water regen, I'm oh, sorry, I, I get distracted. Not as bad as some people I know, but I do get distracted. Uh, like, you're going to be forced to slow down and enjoy the world a little bit, in my opinion. Um, I think that it will definitely change the pace of the game. Now, I wish they would... I wish they would do something about, like, you know, how much stamina you use when you use your bow. Now, I think there's some agility skills that are coming. Because they're getting rid of, like, several skills. Oh, there's more below. Might as well, Might as well loot all of it. Anyways, what I'm saying is, uh... It's like every skill is going to have one that's just like a weapon of that type. So I know like, I believe Fortitude is Spears, which I don't use. Shebe does. Uh, Sledgy-Doos and stuff are Strength. 
So they're gonna get like a the more strength you put into this one, it's gonna reduce the stamina of you swinging it. At the same time, it's also gonna like increase stuff. Agility will be archery as always, so you know I'll be putting all my perks in there, along with I have to put mine in building. Now they haven't really said anything that I've seen yet, and again, only watch the first developer stream, so don't yell at me. Uh, about the inventory problem. Now see. I don't think that we should have to waste so many skill points increasing our strength to increase the pack mule. I don't think we should. And there's probably some workaround to it, like, hey, instead of doing pack mule, increase this and it'll make your stamina or it'll increase your speed walking and you can be over and covered and then you don't have to worry about it. There might be something like that. Uh, I, I've been trying to look into things more. Because like I said, when I, when I choose a game, it's going to be my game. Uh, I'm going to stick with the game. I mean, we're going to still do other games. So get me wrong. I've had people ask me. Uh, we are going to do other games. But I really... We don't have a shovel. We gotta have a shovel. We don't have a shovel. Okay, that ain't good. Uh, tools. I really want to kind of like st stick to one game for a while. Like I want to become that guy. You know, I want to be known for seven days to die. So I'm really thinking I might choose seven days to die. I might get to know everything. I might start getting more into the dev streams and talking with the developers on a consistent basis so that, you know, maybe I'll get some new info before people, or maybe I'll get an exclusive stream or something. Maybe that's what the zombie can be known for, is seven days to die. We're going to loop that when we're done with this crate. looking for sand and we're looking for small stones oh fuck that I wasn't scared but that tree actually made me think it was a zombie for a second just by the texture that is a far enough away we want this stump in this crate and that nest so stop nest crate got it all right we are at light city and we are not ooh, we got another wrench not that we need it okay oh excuse me so shave is a genius by the way so when you look at uh these books here if the book is closed on that little image, and I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there's a little book and it's closed, that means you've never read that skill book before. Now, skill books and magazines are going to become very, very important in Alpha 22, or Alpha 21. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find more of them or buy more of them. But it sounds like that is the predominant way to level up a skill or to acquire skills. So, again, a two-hour conference, and I saw I walked away with many questions and much excitement. And I mean, I was a full two inches over some of the stuff they they talked about. And I can't wait to jump into the next one. Uh, 
Might be tonight if Stratman's not on. Because usually me and Shaman, if we're playing this, I'll put a streamer up on this TV and we'll listen to that streamer while we're doing it. And it's been Stratman for like a week now. And uh, it's great because I love listening to Stratman. But, you know, uh, like I said, I, if Stratman's not on, I'll go on YouTube and I'll pull up the Fun Pips uh, developer conference and watch those. Okay, there may or may not be dogs here. So we're going to slip through here, pick people off, and then loot it. And we'll pick up this rock. So this is actually like I've been here before. There's dead bodies down here in this pit. This is one of the first times you might. Oh, they're not there. This is one. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's a zombie. This is one of the first times you might. Oh yeah, there it is. See the body bags. Okay, there's the dog houses. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, and this is usually the first time you run into these, unless you're stupid like we were and ran into the, uh, the fucking Deathlands. Right, I'm trying to see if I can lure out. There he is, I see his head. Okay. There's probably another one in Panda's oh, reporting in. Panda, I don't know you were. I know you were lurking, so I don't know if you heard. Uh, I'm still free tomorrow to play, and uh, we have. We're me and you will play in like a brand new world, just so you can kind of get used to it before we actually throw you into the world me and Shebe are in, the one that we want everyone to play in. But when we do play in the world everyone wants to play in, uh, me and Shebe made a box for you and a box for no one. Where we've been throwing some high level gear stuff in. Because uh, you don't have to be high level to use high level gear stuff. It's just saying it says starting out with a brown, which is level one uh, pickaxe. You're going to start out with a level three or higher. We ha we've we already got that. Plus we got a bunch of skill books for you guys. So. We, we've done a lot of prep to have you guys come in. Well, like I said, me and you will start out on a basic world tomorrow. Uh this map but it'll just be brand new day one just so it's not overwhelming so. and i won't be streaming it tomorrow just so everyone knows i'm just gonna i'm gonna take panda and kind of show her how to play it without you know her coming to the spikes of death because that struggle is real Yes, yeah, so like that. See how the chemistry station just blew up? That's what I'm talking about. You know, spikes are not friends or toys, Panda. <clears throat> but yeah, you saw how that chemistry station? That's how the, these garbage bags are going to happen. They're going to blow up now in the next update. When you pop a small searchable item that's just world clutter, like this backpack, may or may not be something that gets destroyed. Um, that's. I don't want to pop that yet because I'm pretty sure there's another asshole in this tent. But yeah, small bags like garbage bags and stuff, they're going to they're gonna be gone. Uh, but like trash cans and boxes, and it's basically anything that has the, uh, a searched model. So I'm trying to find something like this water cooler, if those even still exist, will shatter. We are sneaking. See anyone there? All right, so like that crate there, that's over there. We're gonna first check our corner over here. Looks like there's usually a dog in here, and I don't see one. So like these messiah crates that will break open. Once you search them, they will, they won't break. They're gonna stay. Uh, but the chemistry sets will still disappear. This wood crate will actually have. I guess an animation that shows that it's been searched. So there's usually fucking dogs here. I 
it is fucking hot and humid here today. It's like, it's not hot. It's just humid. All right, we do not need bones at the moment because we're not making glue. But we do want paper. There, there's some spikes broke just for you, Panda. I beat them up just for you. Pretty sure we've searched everything. Yep. It's like that little foul trash would be gone. Chemistry station wouldn't disappear. As far as I understand, like I said, it was a two hour long conference and I can't say, it. oh shit, we need that. We need that cement. Uh, what can we scrap? What can we scrap? Oh, fuck these seeds. We, no, that's an egg. Fuck that, we need those. Yeah, two hour uh, dev stream, and I, I walked away with a lot of questions. And that's another reason you have so much stuff. Yeah, I, I'm always carrying stuff, Panda. But that's because the way. Alright, so this game can be played one of two ways. Uh, and it really depends on if you're playing with people or not. So, since like right now, it's just me. I have to kind of be a jack of all trades and carry a little of everything and make a little of everything. But like when we all end up getting together and playing, uh, I'm looking for something. Oh yeah, there's. We don't have to do it that way. Like I can, I can focus on the building of the base. You and Shave can go out and loot things and bring things back and kill zombies. And no one can work on the farm if he wants, you know. that That's how we can spread it out. And then you, you're not carrying all this. Like, I don't have any encumbrance because I've already maxed out. Like, I can actually wear this helmet and scrap that one because it's such a low level. Uh, scrap that. Scrap that because it's nicer to have the lead. I can scrap those cubes. I want that chrysanthemum. We have enough wood for now. I think that's all I can scrap at the moment. But yeah, so it's really going to depend on, like, we can all talk about, like I said, I, I love doing the base building, so I will gladly be the base builder, and, you know, ooh, there, we needed that. I have no problem with that at all. Like, that is my thing. But if people want to, you know, you don't have to be a jack of all trades when you're multiplaying. But when we're solo like this, yeah, I have to kind of, unfortunately, branch out in every damn direction. I don't know if I can. Just, I don't know, I'll just get iron from that. I might as well just. No, that's gonna take a lot of time. And I want to get back to base and unload, since, as Panda pointed out, we're carrying a lot of shite. But there's a bird's nest. See, and I think that's going to be something, too, with the, the new update. It's really going to kind of make it hard for solo players like me. People who really can just do this game on their own. Uh, the new system of perks and like having to actively go out and search for magazines is going to cut down on my time for building a base. You know, like, I could already have the base built if I had Shebe out there collecting the cement and stuff for me. Right, this guy's pissing me off I'm about to pull up the sledge you do. Alright, that's sledge you do time. Don't mess with someone with a sledge you do, kid. That's a good way to get yourself killed. Yeah, and this is another thing, Panda, when you guys get in, like all of us, we will do that mission that involves that. Um, me and Shebe haven't touched it yet. 
just because I want you guys to see one of the oldest yet most interesting things this game has. Uh, mission wise. Oh, I can't scrap anything because my inventory is so full. Um, let's see here. What can I? Oh, wait a minute. We're not making glue. Alright, let's go back to our base on load. Uh, and then we might take a quick break. Uh, while the cement's being made and stuff. Do a quick bathroom break. Cement's been made. I should probably make all the cubes we're gonna need, because we should have enough wood now to wood base uh, most of it, and then we'll uh, go back through and cobblestone and concrete it afterwards. Now, some people will t would take it all the way to iron. I don't really believe in taking it to iron. Uh, I may end up doing it in this, but again, this world will die when the new update comes out. So that's why I've been using it as an experimental world. Kind of same with what me and Shave are playing on, what me and Panda will play on. They're ways to kind of explore the world and grasp some of the concepts of it while at the same time not making us locked in because like right now I want to go destroy my old base the one that me and Shebe have because I like my new base structure better I'm just going to plant a few trees here that way we have more wood because we're going to use a shit ton of wood making those blocks I wish I had a nail gun right now I mean we do have a hammer which will make it so much easier that nothing in it all right so yeah here's our base frame where we're gonna be doing this at there's our corn and our one mushroom my pots of plants all right so let's go ahead we're gonna smelt all of our iron so take care of that in there I'm gonna hold on to my clay for right now just because I don't know what I need. I keep forgetting my boxes are not. Alright, food stuff. Uh, let's see here. Oh, fish and peas. Bevs. Uh, I'll hold on to that because I only have eight empties right now. So go in here. So, building mats, let's see here. That, that, that. No, that's meds. There's cobble, we're gonna take that. That's a smelty, so let's head down to smelty because we have a bunch of smelty. All right, uh, cement. I'm gonna throw our cobble up there. Actually, could use a lot more cobble. Alright, so there's the sand we needed. And there's rocks. We're going to be able to make 4,000 once we get more sand. So we need to go on a sand quest, actually, before we do anything else. That really sucks. Alright. Uh, let's see. That's a smelty. Ammo. I'm going to take my bone knife with us when we go out. Uh, paper. There we go. Meds. Hmm. I don't see anything med wise else in here. Parts and mods. Oh, yeah, we have mod on us. Yeah, so we got tons of this stuff on our other base for you, Panda. Uh, let's see here. 
Seeds. Seeds! Miscellaneous shite. Again, this is my cell chest. This is someone else is playing this world. I'll just sell my extra books. Uh, let's see here. That wood actually should go in the building mats. That's a med. That needs to go in the smelties. That should go there. That's food. Uh, this goes in the building mats. Okay, so. There we go. Building mats is done. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, smelty. Put that there. Okay. Got 400 concrete, but yeah, we're going to need more cobble. And we're gonna need more sand. So we might as well go get that. Um, let's see here. Food stuff. What do we have? Eggs. So we got a lot of eggs, which is nice. We need more meat. This should be done. So let's turn it off so it stops wasting all our fucking fire. Uh, that's pretty good. We'll let that go. Alright. So we're gonna go hide in the basement. I'm not going to pause the game, so if I die, I die, I guess. Actually, no, I'll pause it, because we're not making any concrete now. But we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to try out everything here. We'll be pushed by the new Steam Deck, so we'll see how that works. So we'll take a break. Thank you.
feet to the sky. to the sky.
All right. Yep, that worked. Okay, I was just making sure everything uh, was working in there. So, sorry, that took a little longer. Um, I just read a very interesting story, and I had to... I, I posted it on Twitter. Um, so, apparently, some content creator went and filed a copyright claim on all the music and background stuff in Dead Island 2. And so streamers and other content creators are getting flagged on YouTube for violations. Even though... Oh, we're just going to do for Sam here. Even though they, you know, the, the content creator who uh, filed this claim, didn't make the music. Uh, he basically copywrote his audio... Which includes the music. So, I, I want to see how this plays out. Uh, I did tweet it and I tagged Deep Silver, Dan Buster, Deep Silver itself. Basically, every company that was involved with Dead Island. See if they are aware of it, what they're going to do about that. Because, yeah, that's some shady bullshit. I mean, it's kind of genius in a way, you know. Because every streamer, every content creator would be in violation of copyright infringement then if they honor that copyright. So, we're going to see what happens with that. Like I said, right now this is going to be a boring part. We're just going to dig up a bunch of sand. Like I said, we need uh, about 4,000 sand and 4,000 rock. This is one of the easiest ways to get it. Plus, you know, we could turn the streets into wooden streets. That would just be interesting. I'm going to move this to there. Move that to there. And I'm going to bring down this. We don't need, we're not going to need a wrench for a while, but I will with my hammer out. I'm going to bring that down. Yeah, if you notice, I have a spear in my inventory. I don't use spears, so we can actually bring our wrench back down. That actually needs to go in my weapons chest. Yeah, now we can kind of monitor how much uh, sand we have. Like I said, I'll turn this whole road into a... Something, I don't know. So I might dig down deeper too. I might just make this like a giant vine right here. Doesn't matter. We could do that actually. We could frame this down and make a mine out of this. I think we should do that. So, even though I have a mold... Ooh, I wonder, can I do... I'm getting a system device soon. And I'm wondering if I can't do this. I'm going to be trying something, because you might start seeing the stream on this TV. While we're doing it, like the OBS screen, so I can monitor audio and all that. While still playing on PC games. Like I said... I do now have Phasmo, so we're going to be playing that. Um, I also got a room game called, like, No More Room in Hell, I think is what it's called. Uh, I have a lot of PC games, but I want to get into some PC horror games.
to keep going that way. I'm trying to just level this out. Let's see if I made some more crates real quick. And we didn't make a bunch of them anyways, so we'll just make we'll make two. Two. And we'll actually put those. No, we'll put those where our wrench is. a problem. It's not a straight line across this road. So like to do a mine, you kind of have to do this shape. Like it to just, you know, go this way. But it's going to have to go kind of like this. That's, that's where Minecraft has spoiled me. See, these like are diamond-shaped terraforms. So, instead of a, a regular XY grid, okay? So, think of a checkerboard. Now, think of a checkerboard, but it's diamonds instead of squares. That is the layout for this game. Uh, you can see it when you plant. Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. See, like, it's not straight on. It's kind of a diamond look. But this will work for our little mine area. I guess move that well I could have but I just sealed it but if we could do we move that back like that and then I guess if we went out as far as this maybe there, there's a way to make it into a good squarish rectangle here makes it so fucking huge. This is why, like, my other base I kind of hate because it's just, it got so big now that it's, like, it's not the base I want it to be. I want a more compact, efficient base. I'm very much into, like, the traps and bottleneck system. And that's what we're going to be messing around with here, you know. Like, so this is experimental for when we get to Alpha 21. It's good because we did need more clay too, so. Alright, so this should be straight now. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. The mine becomes such a huge fucking hole. I mean, 
wonder if I... I wonder if I could. Hold on. Let's just, if I could go here, that would be great. Yeah, I can't. Cool. We only move that out, so we're going to break all of these real quick. Hold on. And see, this was an old glitch a long time ago. Like, so you see, I got 21 experience while I'm breaking it. I'm going to let my experience clear real quick. And then get some experience as I'm fixing it. And then break it. And then fix it. Uh, it used to be, that used to be a quick level up one a long time ago. I think that's one of the first like exploits I learned about watching people play this. Which man, I, I wish I could go back and watch some of those old videos, like show you guys some of the the things I've seen people try, like attempts, uh, and not just achievement hunter, which they did some interesting attempts. Jeff's mode idea. Never forget the plan. Abandon the plan. Find new plan. That wall's complete, and then we're actually gonna go this way. Now, this is the problem I have with uh, doing this world on stream only. This would be something I could do. I, I could dig a mine out for hours. Like, I have no problem with it. That's why I said when Panda and No One and me all get together with Shebe and we just we start playing. I have no problems doing this part of the game, digging it out, making a base. You know, I'm, I'm the guy for that. Uh, I can make some of the great defenses that we're gonna need. Plus, it's kind of like my area. Like I understand the base mechanics pretty well. And it doesn't seem like they're going to change this too much. Alright. Let's see. I was going to say, the mine, even with me kind of toning it down a little, has become rather large. But that's okay, because we can dig out so much rock from this, and we need a shit ton of rock and sand. That's the thing is, even if we just get a bunch of rock, uh, you just put rocks in the concrete mixer, and it will make sand. I haven't put like minor 69er perks in yet because uh, I'm trying to get certain perks up first. I might throw a minor 69er on. Let's see here. 
let's see what our perks is. We have two perks, right? No, we have one. All right. So I was working on. Where are we on advancement? We're already at electrician. I do want to get down here to inventor. I do need to increase my archery more. Uh, Master Chef, we have one. Pack Mule, we're maxed on. Alright, so minor six. So at least give us level two tools so we can let's just scrap this and go to tools and make a new one and bam now it's a level two so it's gonna do a lot more diggy damage Just getting clay right now, which is nice because uh, we can make uh, a lot of things with the clay. Just because I want to make sure we're not at the edge of our thing, which we're getting pretty close. rock. So we're almost down to the rock flare. Okay, so that's rock. So we need to go down. Nope, that's actually one of these. I don't want to cave in though, that's why I'm making sure we build a wall up. I oh you guys aren't watching. For those on commercial, please subscribe. That's how Pan or the zombie makes his big money. And it's also what's gonna get us more games and streams. Hitting my wood here.
Now I can remember if it's five blocks or more. So I wonder why I'm like always like stopping so many blocks. You can only go so far out before gravity takes effect on this game. Which like I said isn't a problem with like if you're trying to strip mine like what we're doing. But since I want to have these walls, uh the main reason I want to have these walls is so that we can make ladders and climb the fuck out of the mine eventually. But also because it might be fun to watch zombies fall in here and get stuck. So they can use ladders. But yeah, I did see someone and they were talking about... Uh, so I was trying to see if there's a, a way I can uh, make go in and just destroy the base me and Shebe have so I can just because there's a couple different variants now of our base sitting there and some of them are just unused and it's like I, I don't want to just wait for the zombies to break them I kind of want to just get them out of my damn way and so I can focus on a more smaller compact base uh there is a god mode i guess i could go into but i what i was gonna say is i came across this guy who was talking about he was trying to tear down a house because like i said you can go around the outside of the house and pretty much tear it down uh it's doable but he was like yeah i tore off two layer like two floors worth of stuff and it didn't collapse so what it was was he went inside all the inside walls were gone nothing was holding up this house except for a coffee maker the coffee maker was touching well yeah i'm gonna use i'll use this here so the coffee maker was here but it was touching this upper block and a table that was away from the thing that counted as support That's another reason why I'll do this, is because now, when we're digging down, we'll know that, hey, if we want to just do a center drop dig, we can just go there and cause it all to cave in. And we'll still have an exit, because I've actually seen people get trapped down here. Uh, there was one, I don't know if she ever streamed, but there was one Seven Days to Die player that I used to talk to a lot on the old forums. Uh... And she had a pretty good community. And I was never part of community. We're getting iron there. Hold on. But you! But he! But the... What? I don't know who but you! Is. But he! But Hold the... On. Okay, I just want to make sure my mic went back on. Like I said, test out the Steam Deck, so I'm a little nervous. But, alright, so yeah, that was a very unimportant call, and I'm really sad I answered it. Uh, what was this? I forgot. Oh, yeah, so this one uh, person on the old forums that I used to read, she was trying, her and her friends were trying to mine across uh, from Dyersville which here i can show you that on the map we haven't unveiled it but i can kind of show you where it is uh so dyersville is just across that bridge so they were trying to go from there to light city area over here so it'd be actually more here underground completely and so they had people digging from every side and she was digging from the dyersville side 
Well, it caved in on her. And she got trapped underneath. And yeah, it turned into like a four-day rescue thing. It was like baby Jessica in the whale in the well. Whale. For you those of you who are old enough to remember baby Jessica. Baby Jessica's all grown up and has a baby now, for those of you who do remember baby Jessica. That's pretty fucking crazy. Makes me feel even older than I am. I'm pretty damn old. Yeah, so I, I don't remember because this is my problem with forums. I, I'll i get heavy into checking them for a while. This is why, like, Discord's a thing for me, like, not my biggest thing. is because, yeah, I'll get into it. I'll be on it every day. And then life happens. And then I'll forget to get on it. And I'll tell myself, hey, I should get on Discord and talk to blah, 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 and do blah, blah, blah. And then I don't do that. And I know some people are like, well, it's because you're an asshole and you hate us. It's like, no, it's not that at all. Like, honestly, like, it's just, I suck at discords and forums. As I've said several times, I don't have notifications on on my phones. Um, they're on my tablet here. They're on the Anakin computer. Uh, but I don't have them on my phone. Um, I have very limited ones actually on my main computer here because I want to have a life outside of my computers and I honestly don't have much of one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try to sound like I'm fancy and go out and do things. Fuck no. I'm very much a stay at home nobody, like homebody type person. Fuck going to the shops is about the most I like to do. Even that bothers me sometimes. But anyways, what I was saying is, like, I just, I forget to get on forums and, you know, unless it's something that really holds to our, like, uh, I was on a forum for about three years and the forum sadly got shut down. Uh, and it got shut down because people who came into it were assholes. I mean, there were legitimately just some assholes who got in on it. And it was very sad that this happened because this was a really cool forum. Uh, and I'm not going to go into what it was about, but it was, uh, it was kind of a personal forum and it was, it was great talking with these people because of, uh, things that were going on in my life. And I was on this forum for a while and kept talking with people. And that's probably the only forum I will say I've ever successfully stayed with. And then, like I said, I think it was because it wasn't about gaming. It wasn't about horror movies and stuff. It was about something personal. And I think that's probably why Discord doesn't... I don't stick with Discord too long. Like, I have to open it once a day now and check, you know, any, for messages and stuff. But then I have to go through and delete messages and, you know, filter out junk like it'll be like oh you have seven things from harry and you have fucking 50 things from this one and it's like yeah guys calm down of course i think that's probably how people feel when they you know they get on twitter and they're like zombie jesus tweeted 50 things about video games today he retweeted this he retweeted that he's an asshole we got a raw diamond nice So that's gotta be worth something. Is that for a slice of fried gold? I'm not gonna cause this to cave in here soon because we're getting 
a lot of stone. This is another problem with playing it solo. Is like I should be really working on my base right now. Hold on. I actually want to add another. So yeah, this should make digging this out a lot easier. I don't know why I left that one. I'm thinking of doing something. I am thinking of doing something with that there. <sighs> yeah, the level three does make this so much faster. I know we had already dug a little this way, but man, that was still a lot faster than it has been. I am going to cause a cave in here on purpose. Oh, we have more little people watching that. I was like, I know we're hungry. Oh, we are. 
are gonna have to go up and uh, after we dig out this hole, we're gonna have to go out and get food. We'll add, we'll add all the concrete and sand we have and get that make while we're gone so we can actually start building the base. there. There we go. Take all this. What I want to do here, uh, let's repair our shovels because it's about to break. It's about to break! If you don't know who that is, I'm sorry. Thought processes. We're going to go ahead and up another minor skill here. We will have to get our strength up to seven to max out, but we can now level four tools. Tool damage is 30%, block damage is 90%. All right, we're gonna scrap. Well, yeah, actually, we can scrap that because we're making better than that now, so. Fuck that. Repair that. And craft that. I love base building, so if you're wondering where my brain's going, <clears throat> I'm not building a base, but I'm definitely planning out a little mine axe. steel door here once we uh so I got we'll drop this down one now there and dig that out in there or I can do that all right so we're gonna finish this uh mine entrance up here and then
and then we're gonna go get that drop when we get that drop we're also gonna have the concrete going so we can start building some more base while we're gone or when we get back to our base area here uh, we will probably be taking a short break at some time soon so I can pee all right so we need to put that there Ports in here. Uh, we need some ladders. We're going to need one of these. Uh, uh, make one of those. Uh, if I look at. Uh, do I have enough iron to make an iron door now? Oh, that's forged iron. Okay, cool. Uh, wooden ladder. I think we only need four, but I'll make five just to be safe. That there, and we'll get that there for now. Alright. Let's see if I can just put the hatch there. Yes, I can. Go. Bam. All right. So that'll give us an access down to the mines. All right. So let's go put all this shit away. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, we got so much of that. Bless me. Dirt. Let's make. No. Let's make 20 dirt. All right, so while that's being made in our inventory, we're gonna come in here. We'll throw all the iron we picked up out there, which is only 195. We'll throw that in there. Okay. All right, let's see here. We need smelty chest. How much sand do we have all together now? 700, so just take the stack of 800 there. And then we have 151 rocks. We'll go ahead and make 151 more sand. We're gonna be getting a lot of rock here soon. All right, we need that. That can stay here, and that can stay here. All right. I'm gonna put this diamond over here in our miscellaneous shite box. Uh, same with that ladder because we don't need it right now. That's actually being sold. We're gonna need that while we're out. We're gonna need that while we're out. We're gonna need that while. We're we don't need our trees with us, so we'll put them there. Uh, let's see here. What was I going to grab? Boots. We're going to go get some boots and waters. Uh, is that chili? Okay, we're going to keep the chili because I learned how to make chili dogs in my other Let's Play, and I really like them because they do a lot of good health. Bevs, we have a, let's take that, we're going to drink some of that other stuff. Alright, okay, so iron's being done, that's being done, and our crate brought to the east. Oh, hold on, we made this dirt for a reason. Two extra dirt. Put 
which that's pretty interesting because I think that's not sand. Nope, it came up as dirt. No, oh, it's it's texture of sand. Interesting. All right, so let's go on our crate hunt here. While we're out, we will look for food too. Find a nail gun, that'd be nice. I actually have a picture of me dressed as a a zombie Halloween. I look a lot like that. Like, I even have the green hoodie. Oh, hey, Amelia. How's this going? Good to see you come in. I need a thing that pops up when people come in. I mean, unless people hit the, you know, logging it, you know, report in thing. How are you today? We're uh, just messing around with this since we had kind of a late start day today. Like I was telling you in a stream or uh, on Discord, we will be jumping into Phasmo this week. Days gone. There will be no stream tomorrow because me and Panda are going to play this together so she can kind of get her feet wet without stepping on spikes. How much wood do I get now from the tree? It's a pretty decent amount of wood. But yeah, so we will be, uh, you know, doing a couple different games this week. Like I said, I do want to make this kind of my main, uh, but. Maybe I'll do it like two or three, you know, because I always, I don't stream Tuesdays. So maybe it'll be like Monday will be Mondays and Wednesdays will be different things. And Thursday and Friday will be seven days. We're trying to figure out things like that, you know. Get my life sorted, babe. We are knocking shit tons out of that rock now. I really need to, I'm just gonna upgrade strength all the way so that I can do minor minor 69er all the way up. Silly dog. Always broke. She's always broke. actually a pretty bad dog we found out she somehow broke her uh collar which was an older collar it was one that came with her when we adopted her uh but she broke it so we were letting her free run the yard uh like our other dog does and the reason she had been free run is because she had been digging up the garden like getting through the chicken wire and digging up the garden uh she just pulled up thing uh so while we were waiting for this weekend to get the uh, new collar for her, we're like, all right, we'll, we'll give you a little another try running around. You can have some free range. You know, we don't really like you being on your lead all day, even though you have. She has like a giant shed for a bed, and she just it's like nice as hell. I like. I wish I had that as a kid. But anyways, uh, so you know. Chebe goes out there, and she had gotten under the chicken wire, dug up through, and just crushed a couple tomato plants. They're not damaged, but she crushed them. She dug up my grapevine. Luckily, looks like it'll survive. It's like, this is why you have to be on a leash. Hey! Okay, we're gonna... Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to do some shout-outs here after we break this rock. I just really wanna watch this rock break. God, that's just so satisfying. Alright, hold on. I'll break these here, and then we'll pause the game. Alright. So 
I have to do the pausing with the keyboard or else it doesn't let me do this. We got shout outs to throw out to people. I don't know why the video ain't playing today. Yep, that one's on, and that one's on, and that one's on. It just I think it might have just worked. I might have figured it out. There's a small square there. Let's see if that works. Let's see. Oh yeah, it just <laughs> Yeah, except for last night's bet, which was bullshit. I'm still a little uh, salty at uh, our good friend there. Let's see. Come on, pop up the video. Why why aren't the videos popping up? I might have to go into sound alerts and fix that. But yeah, he did us dirty yesterday. So the bonsai bet, they did a redraw because they declared that no winner. And white kind of won the originally, but they the game itself was like, hey, we're gonna do a new one. This, that didn't count. And so Black wins. I voted on Black. Should have won. But he's like, nope, nope. The first one won. I don't know why they redid it. Fuck that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, strap man, you're an asshole. So Hemi took 2,000 of my points. I told her I'm getting them back today. We're heading to that drop. I just got distracted by a rock. And the damn dog barking. Hold on. There you go. I'm muted, so you guys don't have to hear me telling her to stop barking. I'm nice about it, but. I need a notepad so I can remember to find out why the videos aren't playing when I do a shout out. Just let you do, bitch. Right. So, for those of you who don't know, this is Seven Days to Die. Um, the best way to describe it is Minecraft set in Arizona, but with zombies. It is a horror survival game, uh, has RPG elements, base building, all of that. It is a great game. We are putting together a server for people eventually. Uh, we're testing it out. Uh, it's, it'll be a server world where we'll get together and play it for fun. Uh, streamers are allowed to stream from the server world, we've decided. You know, I agree with the. I, I told him that. I'm like, you know, it's their game, their rules. But he's like, no, I'm a dictator. I get to do this. And I'm like, yeah. I was like, whatever, Stratman. I was like, that's all right. I'll just win the money back. Like, put another murder on and I'll, I'll just I'll just win. Because he, love him to death, but he cannot pay attention to the clues. He gets so distracted by flashing lights. It's so cute. Alright, let's 
So we're going to we're going to that drop, but again, I'm trying to make sure because we only have what we have a hundred arrows right now. We should be good for a little bit. Hello, chicken. You're lucky I have a peace treaty with you. In this world, I have a peace treaty with chickens. Uh, Fortnite and in Panda and me and everyone's world, that that treaty is up to you guys. There we go. Blood fountain, bitch. Hope we find more iron so we can see if we get our diamond. What is that over there? Oh, that's the Home Depot. Ooh, are we going into Dyersville? That's risky. It's not as bad as the new plans we were in. But it can still be a death. So far, we're on day nine with one death. And I'd like to make it to like where I am with me and Cheve on our world. Uh, well, we're on day 50, but I'd like to make it to where I'm on day 50 with no more deaths than the first death I had. Which, that death was completely on me for being stupid and going into the new plants. I know not to go into the new plants. But I wanted to go get that crate. I wanted to show off, and it fucked me in the ass. Don't need any of that shit right now. Ooh, more iron. Lots of iron. We're gonna get this crate and we'll take a quick break so I can go pee and get another drink. Actually, I have drink. Don't I? Yeah, I got another full one there too. But I definitely need another drink because, or I kind of need another drink because I just chugged that one down. But I'm definitely gonna need to pee because I chugged that one down. seen any other item. All right, so let's see here. Well, we got some cat food, some corn macabre, and 500 wood cubes, which that's not bad. This was actually a better crate. Alright, so this has a cold resistance of 11.8 and a heat of 2. Yeah, I guess we'll use the white one. And the white one has better resistance. Alright. That's what I'm saying. It has some RPG elements to it, like stats you have to pay attention to. Sorry, I could hear him, but anyone who knows me knows I'm blind as shit, so occasionally I can't see things. But yeah, so there are some RPG elements to it for those who haven't played this. It is on Steam. It is a cheap game. There is a console version, which has not been updated since Alpha 15, though there is an update coming soon. Yay! And they are, like I said, the developers say they are working with both Sony and Microsoft to try to get it to where if you already own the console version, which I own it twice... One for me and one for Shebe. You will get a discount instead of having to buy a $70 game. Because for you, it's just an update. And as where if it's, you know. Now, I'm wondering if that's only going to apply to digital. Which, because I mean, technically I own this game three times. Because I bought it physical, digital, digital on Xbox. I think I even owned it on PlayStation 4. Uh, I'd have to check my library on that. 
and then I own it for my PC, Shave's PC, and I gifted it to Panda. See, I've bought this game so many times. I think they can give me a little discount. I do know that they are, like I said, they're going to be doing another development stream, and they're working on dropping uh, Twitch drops with it for, like, free stuff for in-game stuff, which is weird because it's not like, you know, uh, Dead Island 2 where I was dropping, you know, the, if you watch it, you got that special shotgun. No, it was, this is going to be like, what, I get some more building materials? I get a crate of food? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what their drops are going to be because it's not like there's a, any special weapons. There's not named weapons in this game. Let them just a little too far. There we go. Let's head back to our base. We're going to use those 100 wood cubes we got, or 500 wood cubes. We'll go ahead and put them out and wood up the base. And then we'll take a quick break. Uh, I do have to keep track of the time. It is 15.22, so that's 3.22 for you non-military time people. Uh, so 3.22. To go break at 3:43, because I got I got to stop sign out at like 4:30, 5 o'clock, in between that area. Because Shebe gets off at five, we have to go to the shops and get cat food, or else we will not be alive much longer because the cats will murder us. But we do need to go do that and then cook dinner tonight. If the humidity has gone down outside, I'm going to grill out burgers. Like I really want to grill out burgers. But if it's so humid out still, then I probably won't grill out burgers. I don't know. I have to, I have to come to a decision on this. Uh, if I ask Shebe what she's going to want for dinner, she's going to, I don't know. You decide. Are you that way, Panda, if you're still listening? Or are you, Amelia? I, I want a woman's perspective on this. Uh, are you the person who uh, makes the food decision, or are you very much not the food decision? We're on commercial, so I'll wait to have this discussion. I'm just waiting for you guys to get back. All right, you guys are back. All right, so I was waiting to, for you guys to get back from uh, the commercials there before I asked this. So, ladies, and gentlemen can answer this too, but I want to know, are you the person who makes the food decisions? You know, are you the one who's like, tonight we are going to have this? Or do you make your significant other 
You know, are you always like, eh, I don't know. We can have whatever. You know, where do you fall on that? Uh, list of the peoples. Oh, hey, Panda, when we get back from break, I got to show you the cool thing I got this weekend, too, about a seat. What am I looking for here? That's corn. My seeds are down here. I'm using them right now. But... Food stuff. Okay, I got to really pee, so we're going to hurry up and drop this stuff. All right, that's a building material. Oh, yeah, I got some black dye because my other sweatshirt that I was already wearing... Uh, it had been modified, so if I come here to my white sweatshirt and modify it, I can take this black dye and put it there, and now it's a black sweatshirt. Alright, kill this. There, alright. So you can see I'm rocking back and forth because I got sick of pee. Throw that lead in there and get it smelting. Sledgy do goes there. We're going to get those. That's a med. So we're going to run downstairs, hide in the basement while we go. Oh, that's why I had these chems. All right. I'm rocking back and forth because I really got to pee and I'm really going to go pee. Unlike our friend Strapman, who just will sit there and talk and talk when he has to go pee. So, here we go. We're going to try this again with the steam deck. Let's make sure it all works. Bam.
feet to the sky. Hopefully that's working. I, I'm, I can, I shouldn't have to double check, but I want to make sure it's double checked. Okay. Yes. Yep. 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 Everything's working. Cool. Just want to double check because I said first time actually using the Steam Deck. Everything seems to be working pretty well. You know, the small mini Elgato Steam Deck is only seventy five dollars on. Uh, Amazon, it's actually worth it because, like I said, instead of me having to hit the win tab every time and go to my other things, all I gotta do is hit. I got buttons here now. And I know buttons aren't toys, but in this case, they are. Yeah. And Panda, you're still here. I have something to show you. I'm gonna put it over here. That way, I don't have to reach back like that again. So let me know when you're back, Panda. When you're not lurking, because I want to show you this. I mean, I know it is late. It is late in Panda Land. What time is it? Let's see. It is uh, almost... It's 3.30 here, so it's 9. Oh, okay, cool. You're here. So we picked this up this weekend. I don't know if you're going to see it too well. So it is... The Walking Dead Season 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, I don't know if I can, here, hold on. What if we do this? Hold on. This will make uh, Stratman happy because he's always asking for a bigger webcam. Where is my webcam? Hold on. I'm going to click this. Okay, that's my webcam. And like I said, it opens up. There's the season two Blu-ray and so as I said earlier, I really this is one of my favorite zombies from The Walking Dead because my children, the very first pop figure they ever got me is the RV Walker with the screwdriver in his eye, and I have that action figure over there on my uh walking dead wall of it so it's it's one of my favorite uh zombies from that all right well that should make Stratman very happy because now my uh webcam was large and in charge there i'm gonna drop it back down here on this line nope that's way too far there we go bam all right but yeah yeah, me and uh, Shebe had a head day on Saturday. We had went to uh, Habitat Restore, which is uh, Habitat for Humanity. Like, they resell stuff that doesn't get used in their projects, and other construction places drop off stuff that they didn't use. And they resell it, and all the money it goes to building new houses and stuff. So I fully support them. Anyways, they had a bunch of mannequin heads. So I ended up buying all of them so i'm going to use them for halloween decorations but i'm thinking of mounting one kind of like over here somewhere just for uh having it there you know all right so what we're building here this is our actual horde base okay and i have a very specific design Requires four high for each level. Did I go too far? Nope, okay. So that's three high. Okay, so each level of the floor is going to be four high. Actually, it might be higher, but for what I need right now, I need it to be four. Leave that like that for a minute. That way, if I have to climb back up, I can. 
All right, so we're going to change our shapes. Hollow. All right, so that's the wall. One, two. Yeah. See, what I'm doing is it's a funneling system, okay? So the zombies will come up the stairs. And, okay, will you switch to the damn shape I asked you to twice now? There, thank you. So the zombies will come up the stairs. Eventually, it'll be up high enough, right? And this is actually a lot wider than it needs to be. But okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show this and explain it at the same time. So let me put these. All right, so zombies will come up these stairs. Do, 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 do. They'll come up these stairs that are going to be here, and so on. Like, four levels of that, okay? But then they're going to get to a spot where there's a gap that's literally from here to here. Where we're able to put blocks in between that and pull them out after we get across. And the zombies come up there, and you just pop, 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 keep shooting them. And once I make a sledgy turret, it'll just push them off so they'll come falling down and they have to come all the way back up. We did this for our uh, stream base last night and it turned out pretty good. All right, now the reason I'm making this back area so big is because I will put a generator back here. So that would be yeah, there. that one open for now it, it won't be like that it will actually be open here because i don't want the zombies to get into my generator at all i would do this just gonna leave a doorway for now because we're not at making generators yet. But anyways, the generator will be back here, and then the wire will come here, and there'll be a turret here to shoot them. But then also that'll run the wires up for power and lights and stuff through it all. So that's the first floor. Um, we want it to come out to here. So the door frame would be there. That way, we, as soon as they're walking in, they hit get into the range of the turret. It'll shoot them. Then any of them that make it through will come up here. And then continue up. So that's the grand design for this base. Um, eventually, it will all be concrete, which is why we're making all that concrete. Now, if you're wondering about those circles there, those are actually for... Uh, lights that I'm going to put out here. And they don't have to be much higher than that. So I'm not really going to mess with them. I do have to go cut a window out of uh, a spot there, though, that run wires on both sides. I did fuck that up. 
So let's go do that real quick before I forget to do it. So there would need to be a window there. And a window there. That way the wires could come out and run across the side of the building. And that'll work. Alright, so there's the first floor of the base. That's another floor high here. You're running about in real life. Hopefully you're like having some fun while you're running about. Like usually I end up just going to the shops and that's never fun. It's actually kind of depressing. That's just because it's America. I don't know. I just uberly depressed by my country nowadays. I will put some light bulbs in here light this all up because it will be dark as fuck when uh, I seal this all off. Also, we'll have to make a small like patio roof up on the top. Oh, and I almost forgot to do the outside blocks. Fuck. Hold on, I gotta go down and do those before I go any further. Okay, so there has to be right here. Uh. Hey, hey, don't be breaking my base. I just started building it. Oh, fuck, it's a wandering horde. So, yeah, these are going to become more predominant in the new update, but less predominant near 7 day. Because, like, 7 day, like, day 6, a lot of the time you'll get a wandering horde. The fuck train has no brakes. Fuck me, fuck me. I'm hoping that dog fucks right off. That better not be a cop one too over there. Cause normally we don't see army guys on day ten. They're, They're day coming to get you, Barbara. Yeah, they are coming to get me. Some of these guys are early in their speed. This is why I want to increase my archery. Well, that and I want to start making my crossbow, because crossbow is just a beast. Oh, blood fountain! I swear that dog ran into my building, and I'm just going to let him hang out in there for now. No, this is just a chubs. He doesn't know we're here, so we might be able to do this. I see there's a hazmat out there and a lot about five more. I just don't want to draw that dog. Come on. I know you're hiding in the trees. Here soon. Hope, 
hopefully this fucker stays distracted long enough. You know what, yeah, here, let's go ahead. Uh, arrows. Nice. Oh, and it's the relaxing music of daytime. I'm just afraid to go in my damn base now because I'm pretty sure that dog he's right there. You know, we could we could cheat. You can't get up here. Oh, we killed him one hit. Nice. Let's go get some meat. Because that wasn't a zombie dog. That was a wolf. Yeah, that was one of the ones that would have fucked me up, too. We're going to get some bacon and eggs going now. What time is it? It's almost 4 o'clock. You know, I might end the stream at 4, so about 10 minutes. Just because I do have to get ready and go to the store. I don't want to go to the shops. I hate going to the shops. We'll... Seriously, the cats will fucking rebel if we don't feed them, so. Alright. Like I said, there won't be a stream tomorrow. One, two, three. You know, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try to take half of those away. And then I'm going to try to change these to that. Nice! Okay, then I don't have to switch back and forth. Love it. Yeah, I want to try to get as much of this base done real quick before, you know, well, in the 10 minutes or so we have. Then we'll call it for a day. We'll raid out to one of our good friends. He's on. And tomorrow, me and Panda will get together. I have any food on me that I can eat? Uh, we'll eat a mushroom. We'll see what happens. I can go make bacon and eggs. So I just don't feel like ending the construction yet. Now, I do want... Let's see here. One, two... I want to put a window there. Oh, shit. We're actually going to go up one higher on this one then. There we go. Oh, fuck me. I put that. It's a problem with doing this with a fucking. Controller is it sometimes it's a little twitchy, plus this controller's janky and likes to occasionally stick on me. Actually, no, this isn't the one that sticks anymore. We switched that out. That's right. This is the new one, so it doesn't stick. So that's just me being twitchy. Okay. Here I am going to blame the fucking controller.
We'll do one more up, over, and then up, and then that will give us the design we need. Our window there, so we're going to go like that. I do have to come back and cobblestone all of this, and then cement all of it. But that probably won't be until Wednesday or Thursday. It really, like I said, it really depends on some other games I want to play. Uh, finally going to play uh, Days Gone. Now that I've figured out the whole PlayStation. Which, yeah, if anyone's been following the whole ordeal of the PlayStation 4. Alright, so... Got my PlayStation 4 all hooked up. Could not access PSN. So I followed a million steps. Still could not access it. Went online, made sure all my sign-in credentials were right. They are. Still can't access it. What the fuck? So, I go into guest profile. And literally the exact same login credentials for my main profile, put them in as my guest profile. It works. I can connect PSN. It's, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. All my achievements are, or trophies, sorry, PlayStation. All my trophies are there. All my uh, purchased games are available to play as far as I know. Days Gone is a physical at this point. As far as I remember, I have a physical. Because I bought the collector's edition. Okay. So we're out of... Well, we're not out of wood shapes. We could actually... Here, we'll split this in half. And then we'll take this. And turn them into cubes. And we'll finish going around this. And that'll be pretty much the end of the stream because it is almost four o'clock. Like I said, I gotta get ready. Try to see if I can float it on there right now, but I don't think I can until I get the next section of the wall up, so. So I'll have to repair that. But then let's see here. Uh, wood shapes. There they are. Let's make another 60. That should give us enough to finish this floor. Where are they? Oh, shit. That's right. They're going to go into there. Well, you know what? We don't need the stairs right now. We'll just go to this. Well, 
with that bad texture is out there. Maybe it's the garbage that's on the ground? That's a bunny over there. I'm not keeping track of how many of these fucking things are. I at least want to get all the way around and get the stairs put up on this side. And then when we come back next time, we'll finish that. Hopefully our concrete will be done. We may have to go on a cobblestone run. Again, this is where multiplayer is nice because Shave goes out and scavenges while I do this stuff. So I could just be like, okay, I need that cobblestone and there'll be cobblestone. Actually go through all those things. Uh, let's go 40 this time. That should be more than enough. I was thinking of doing another window here. And one there. Just so that there is light in here. probably do windows on that side but I don't want them falling off so that's what they'll do because they're dumb zombies all right let's go down here put up our stairs two three four all right nice so we did that perfect one of those weird times oh. but then we fucked up and did this yeah that's gonna be a big opening for them to fall down my legs oh fuck me put a split on that i don't know why i put a split on my hand but okay she's not happy because she now has to walk with a broken leg all right so we need one more up apparently so we didn't do it right But at least I know that if they fall from that level, it will cause leg damage. I don't know if the zombies do take damage, so I think they may have gotten rid of that, because I tried that with my, uh, like, really? Are we really running out of cubes again? 40. I tried that with my experiment one where we had a spiky trap and they were falling in and taking spike damage, but it didn't seem like they were taking extra damage from the fall. So. See, one of the nice things about this build is if I want to add on to the sides, Later, like do uh, 
let's say a balcony for the gyrocopters and shit. I can't. I can just build like I'm doing in the front there. The reason I'm building that is because there is an outlet patio that's going to let us get to the roof. That is separate from the main structure to kind of keep the zombies from coming in. Cubes, cubes. Alright, there we go. It didn't it didn't switch to cubes. Fucking switch. I get irritated. Alright. Alright, we only have six cubes left. Let's throw those up. Okay, that should be hitting now. I gotta get my archery skill up. There we go. Starts beating that wall when you piss because there's a front entrance and their pathing should have them. Okay, good. He is. I say their pathing. And this is okay. So again, this game is still early access after all these years. But think about this for concept of programming while we're checking, waiting for this guy to get up here. He's not getting up here. He's beating the wall. Sucker. He's gonna get shot now. Oh, actually, no, because that might draw a horde. Why are you breaking my walls, asshole? Blood fountain. Anyways, the way they're supposed to do is there's AI pathing for path of least resistance. So that's why I have that doorway there, is because they should go, okay, here's an opening. We don't have to break the wall and walk through. So the game like checks all the blocks in your area for them to path to you and goes here's the path of least resistance we're gonna go to it again early access game that does that that is so fucking incredible all right we're gonna go in our house and we'll call it there today we got a pretty cool structure being built like i said i have to turn all that into cement it's gonna look like a fucking high rise when we're done Turn that off because it's just wasting it. Uh, all of our food stuff's out here, so I don't know why I'm going there. Let's grab all these eggs. That way, this is going when we come back next time. It'll already be started. Food stuffs. So there we go. Let's go down our uh, hidey hole here. All right. So let me go ahead and end the game here. So I gotta do that with the keyboard, or else it'll get all stupid on me. All righty. So thank you everybody for hanging out today. Hope you had some fun. Like I said, uh, there will be no stream tomorrow. We will be back streaming on Wednesday. I am looking real quick to see who is on. Um, da, 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 da. Oh. Oh, it's actually...
Val's not on. Stratman's not on yet. Maybe too early for Stratman. Uh, Panda's obviously not on. Tinky's not on. Folly Boys still aren't back yet. I'm looking at everyone here. Um, you know what? We haven't rated at this our good friend here in a while, so let's check him out. He is playing Magic the Gathering. I, mean, I gotta make sure I spell his name right here. All right, so we're going to go raid Boulder here. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging out. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, be safe out there. And please, as always, wash your hands, wash your face, wash your butts. Much love. Nerve your deck. Yeah, that's okay to have.